It's a story that made national headlines. A California woman is facing charges now after throwing a fit on a plane at the Buffalo Airport. She's accused of screaming and spitting on other passengers. News 4's Sarah Minkowitz has an update on this case. Sarah? Don and Jackie, Cynthia McKnight is facing a number of charges for Tuesday night's incident, including federal charges. NFTA officials say the list of charges includes harassment, criminal tampering, and resisting arrest. I think the interest has been in, you know, what caused this, what was the, the root cause of this behavior, and it, it really is unknown, uh, and I don't want to speculate. Officials say Cynthia McKnight exhibited, quote, unruly behavior on board an American Airlines flight that was supposed to head to Chicago Tuesday night around 7. NFTA police say the 24-year-old from Sacramento, California, opened a cabin door and inflated an emergency slide on the flight. According to witnesses, uh, the passenger became irate while on board and uh, took those actions after um, staff was unable to, to calm her down. McKnight was arrested at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. News 4 asked officials if TSA could have prevented this incident, much like they prevented a JetBlue pilot from boarding a plane while intoxicated back in March. Very tough thing to control um, a human being's behavior in the moment. Uh, I, th I think one of the things that, that we've tried to do is to educate passengers, and I think we've done that with some success. You see something, you say something. So there's a, there's, to some degree, there's this uh, um, push to kind of police our own. Between McKnight exiting a plane that was getting ready for takeoff to mask mandates in the airport being lifted and then reinstated 24 hours later, officials at the Buffalo Airport have had their hands full this week. Officials say when it comes to mask usage, they're not enforcing it, but educating passengers that masks are required while in the airport. Now, NFTA Police Chief Brian Patterson says several agencies on the county and federal level are involved in McKnight's case. She is currently held in Niagara County Jail. In the newsroom, Sarah Mikowitz, News 4.